Hi everyone. I know I said I'd do a tutorial on making churros with our rhinestone sheets and I had not gotten it done. So I apologize for the delay, but I'm going to get one out of these this out for you real quick. Uh, hopefully it'll give you an insight on the questions that I'm getting. How do you cut it? Uh, how do you get two bows out of it is a big thing. How heavy is it? And different things like that. So I'll try to address all of those. If you have any questions, just shoot me a message. Um, so let's, let me show you what, what I do. And again, I'm not a bow maker. My folds are not good like uh, other girls. That's a talent. That's something that uh, good bow makers have spent a lot of time and a lot of effort and a lot of training, uh, just watching video after video and folding and cutting uh, your bow back apart and putting it back together and, and just different options and getting your, uh, getting your placement right. So that is a true talent and I am not that good at it. So uh, please excuse that, but I'm going to show you what little I know, okay? Hopefully it helps. So here we go. So right here, hopefully you can see that. There we go. Right here is a full sheet of rhinestones. This is our light topaz. It looks, it's a beautiful gold. And your sheets are gonna come like this. There's a carrier sheet on the front. That's because these are true DMC rhinestones. They are glass, like all good rhinestones. And so this helps protect them from chips and nicks and things like that. On the back is another sheet. And this is your um, hot pick side. It's harder to see on the gold. I should have tried another color for you. I'm sorry about that. But this is what it looks like when it comes to you, okay? And what I've done is I've taken a sheet here, and I and this is a red one, and I've cut it to give you an idea of how you're going to do it when you make your bows. So there's a couple different ways. If you want to do a full bling bow, which is um, something more like this. Let me get this one for you. That's, that's a full bling one. It goes from end to end. And then there's this option here. Let's go up oh, this one. Again, this is not a good bow, but this one I had a lot of fun with. I love it with the tails on, just showing that little bit. I kind of make, it makes it feel a little lacier to me. I don't know. They're both gorgeous though. This is actually our epoxy stones. These are SS6 and then you can get those in the rhinestone sheet in purple, hot pink, light pink, and crystal AB. As you can tell, lot they still have a lot of bling um but they are an epoxy stone so they're softer they're they're actually you can cut the stone i'll just see if i can cut one here real quick i'm gonna probably have to put my glasses on to do it okay but you can cut through these stones on here let's see if i can get one of these and I went flying, but I did cut through that. So you can see that these are lighter weight. They're good for younger girls that need a lighter bow, okay? Um, the next thing is we're going to cut. We're going to do these as if it's a full three-inch bow. So right here, we're going to cut three inches across the short side of the bottom. So you're going to have this. This will be one bow. This will be your second bow. And these two pieces, and then you're going to have this. This is salvage. You can use this for your centers. You can use it for other things. A lot of girls are using these for centers. You can also use like I did on this one here. You can use ribbon too. I kind of like the ribbon in the middle. I think it kind of just makes it a little, show a little more detail. But this is your scrap, so use this as you want. To get your, the rest of the bow, here's one of the long strip. You're gonna take, cut it in half, and then you're gonna give one to your right bow and one to your left bow. This is the short end that was over here. You're gonna take it, fold it, cut it in half, and one to the right and one to the left. Now you have the pieces for two bows. So what that looks like is, there we go. This is one bow. Your long strip, long strip cut in half, short strip cut in half. This is all you need for a bow. So what I would do to do it, to make a bow, is I would fold it in half, or you don't have to fold it in half, I'm sorry. You would take your bow, your ribbon, put it down, and press that. I press mine at 325 for 15 seconds. I take the carrier sheet off and press it for another couple seconds. So now you have this side done. I go to the other side, over here. I take the short end, this is gonna be your tail. Place it and heat press it. So now you have the a bow that looks would look like this, okay? You've got this gap in the middle. And that's where this little guy is gonna go. But to do this way I like, I think it works best is I like to take my bowl after this side is, uh, after I've got those two pieces pressed. So it's gonna look like this. And then I like to take this, this is one half of the long sheet. I 
put it up here and I place it where the other one is. So you're gonna have a gap here and you're gonna have a gap in the middle. That gap makes your back of the bow look as pretty as the front. Gives you a little bit of space here too, takes out some of the weight, plus it allows you to get your centers smaller so it looks, you have better folds. And then I would price that. Oh, sorry about that. All right, yep, definitely not a public speaker in a video. So what you would do is, again, there's your long sheet, short and long sheet cut in half. I place it where it matches up here so it's even, even, and now this is what your other side is. So to make the bow, all you need to do, this is the way I do it at least, bring these two pieces in like this. Okay, get them lined up. You'll need a zip tie, and I know I have one, here we go, and a ponytail holder. So I like to just take and start at the top, come down and get your creases. Again, this is done through trial and error, what works good for you and how to make your bows look the best. Okay, and then I put my ponytail holder up here at the top and you take your zip tie, work it around there. Don't tighten it all the way while you're working it and getting it into shape. Then I start in the back and I make sure that it's centered. Flip it over. And I'm trying to do this backwards, that's why I'm struggling. Being left-handed kind of makes you look awkward in a lot of things, it seems like. Okay, so here, and then you would tighten it up, just like that. Everybody ask, what about the scent Vs? These Vs line up perfectly. Watch this. And that's how easy it is to cut even after the ribbon. I don't think I showed you what it's like to cut your piece with, uh, where's a piece of that salvage? Here's a piece of the salvage, okay? So see, these are my good scissors. Kids aren't supposed to use them, but they use them all the time. Cuts that easy. I even brought over a pair of kindergarten scissors to show you, you can cut with that. Real easy. This is your bow. You just cut off this back. I like to move this. You're gonna tighten it up, but you're also gonna use it to get your folds better, and you're gonna work with it a little bit. Um, but all in all, that's kind of the gist of how easy it is to put one of these together. I say easy because I think this is easier than trying to, uh, when you have to figure out placement of your designs and your your logos or the names and stuff like that. Now if I tighten this up, it would look a little bit better. And then you just take your center, hot glue it around there. You're gonna cut the back. Here's what the back looks like. You're gonna cut this. After you have it tightened, make sure it's tight. You're gonna cut that. And then you're gonna wrap it either with a couple of these, couple rows of these, or a piece of uh, thin ribbon. And again, I don't have it quite because I'm trying to do it backwards for you guys. And so it's not, that's kind of how to get it started, the gist of it. I hope it helps. Um, if you have any questions, just shoot me a message. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.